Uh, this is for the residential remodel at 820 Brooks. Uh, my mother's house, as you can see right here with the arrow. 820 Brooks Avenue in Venice, California. And what we have is we have to put uh, the pots. You know, there's a pot that has a drain in it. And uh, if you look on the uh, raised stormwater planter box detail, it shows you how the box has to be made and how the filter has to go in. You see, there's gravel wash layer, wash layer of gravel. There's a, a, re, a, a block or precast concrete with waterproof membranes throughout. So this is pretty standard, you know, in the city of Los Angeles. This is what they're requiring. So whoever is taking this job should be aware of this. And all you have to do is go on the sheet marked A1. A1. As you can see, it says A1. So the next thing besides the drain, the next thing besides the drain, as you can see, the drainage system. See? The water comes down and goes into the pots and then it comes through a pipe and then it goes it goes through and comes out the carport. But you see that there's a slope that has to be met. So the dotted lines here are the room addition. This was the existing here and the room addition is here. So I have to meet a slope going down this way and what we want to do is put concrete concrete here meeting the slope at one percent minimum okay and it also has to be I think two or four inches from the uh, uh, on the wall on the uh, concrete wall it has to be a two inch clearance. Uh, you, you would know the rules if you are a, uh, a contractor and you have, you are responsible for passing inspection. So that's a big thing. Please text Shanika and let her know that you saw, saw this, uh, saw this video and that you realized that you have to pass inspection. And here's the, 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 we want concrete along the side here. And then there's a, when you come out of these sliding doors here, we want a landing pad. And then we have the concrete flower pot. So there's a landing pad on each side. And then all here, we want concrete. So there's, you see where the dotted lines are? There's concrete, concrete all on the side here. And you have to meet the slope and you have to meet the slope and the water has to go this way. You see, it says minimum slope, 1%. So when you put the concrete, it says stormwater migration. That means that the water has to go Migrate. Migrate means go somewhere. Like immigration. Migrate. You know, it has to go somewhere. Okay, so we want concrete all on the side here. This is a, uh, what's it called? Hot water heater. That's going to be removed. And concrete here with the slope. And then they have to put the drainage pipe. And then there's the details of the flower pot. Oh, look, you see it says the slope going this way. 
And this is the rear view, just showing you the two sliding doors and the flower pots and the common landing. It's an elevation view. These lines show the addition. This is, we added these walls. This is all new. You see, this is the addition. Okay. Before it was just this little box my mom was living in. And now we added this. So along here, we have to put concrete and we have to meet the slope. You see, and back here is where the doors, the sliding doors are. Right here. And this is the common landing. Right in here. This is also the elevation view. It shows the bedroom. Bedroom 2 and bedroom 1. These are all new. Okay. And here's the flower pot. It's a 500 square foot room addition that we added. We added two bedrooms and a side uh, bedroom, a half a bedroom. So we added two and a half bedrooms, and this is bedroom two. We added them to toward the rear of the property. You might be able to see it better here. You see it says a minimum of a half slope on each side. So this is, we want to put the concrete. You see the dark area here? This is where the inspector is asking us to meet the slope. You see? We have to meet the slope so the water can go. You see the arrow? See? And there's another arrow, minimum, minimum. Use the slope. And see the common landing here? And the common landing here? This is bedroom one. This is bedroom two. This is the half a bedroom on the side. It's really easy to see it on this drawing. So the water, you see the arrows, the water has to go that way. This slope is going this way. Slope, this water slope. Okay, then the concrete, there has to be a common landing here, common landing here, and all this area is concrete. And the slope has to be met. It's that simple. It's just the slope, the common landing, the water, water, the water plants around, they go around the common landing. So it's three things, the slope, the concrete around the shaded area, and the plants with the filter, the pots with the filter that wrap around the common landing. And this, just so you understand, this is an alley that got turned into a street. So my mom's front yard is, is Brooks, and it's, in the future I will put a house here. But in the meantime, back here, I need to finish this room addition and force the water in the arrow. See what I'm saying? slope according to the plan i have to meet the plan see the plan says one inch minimum slope and this what it looks like live you see my mother's house is in the back and this was what it looks like live you see this is how it used to look. There was no, I added, I added to this. Right now, it's all built out. This is an old photo, but the water has to go out this way. San Miguel. There used to be all kind of junk. This is the carport. This used to be here. So the, this part of the house, I tore out and added. 
And so now I need the drain to come this way. This is 820 Brooks. This is Brooks and this is San Miguel. I need the water to go this way. I need the slope. See the arrows? See the arrows? Got to meet the slope going out the alley. All you have to do is just go to A1.1. This is the plan that needs to be followed. Shows the planners and the slope, gives the details of how the flower pot is supposed to be made. All the detail you need is very simple. It shows here the strategy, what it's about. The new drainage pattern will significantly reduce sheet flow. By capturing all roof runoff through the use of strategically positioned raised stormwater planter boxes. So you see, if you read, it tells you what needs to be done. But you have to be somebody who's experienced with this job. You cannot be a newbie because we are not paying if you don't pass the inspection. So that means you have to meet the grade. You have to do your concrete uh, in the right way so that it's, you know, there's a clearance on the side. You, you have to know your job. You know, I'm not a, the contractor that does this. So you have to clearly tell uh, the girl that you know the job and that you watch the video. Do not come out without watching the video. It's telling you the concept about of the pl planter boxes. Rainfall falling upon the roof areas will drain to into gutters connected to downspurts. You know, basically this is a roof uh, plan showing, and then the water has to go somewhere. It's very simple. Okay. Thank you.